Team HQ Sports, welcome on in to a shiny brand new year of sports only trivia. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and 2019 is already off to a wild start. Coaches are being hand left and right, Antonio Brown may end up getting traded, and we just lost a legend, Mean Gene of the WWE. <sighs> so team, let's take it back, regroup, and focus on our New Year's resolutions to generate some positivity here and hopefully some cash. We asked you on Twitter at HQ Sports if you could make a New Year's resolution for any player, what would it be? And team, if you need a good laugh today, definitely hop on Twitter and check these out. There are so many that I can't say on air, but trust me, they are very entertaining. At, at the Witty Ryan says the Patriots to get another Super Bowl, Super Bowl ring. Dude. I think I could speak for pretty much everyone south and west of New England by saying, no, thank you. Please let them not be in the Super Bowl this year. Just one more year, please. At B. Floyd says, for Ben Simmons to shoot a three. That's probably shoot and make a three, I bet. Savage, but true. At E. Zidler 217 says, for Bryce Harper to sign with the Cubs. Wow, okay. At Jacob and a whole bunch of numbers says, for Lundquist to finally win the cup. At Jason0210 says, Aaron Rodgers, less commercials and more playoff success, please. Cha-ching, like that one a lot. And at Yitzi Raven says, for Manny Machado to A, return to the Orioles and B, become a nice guy. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry to tell you that I only see one of those two things happening, and I'm not going to tell you which. <laughs> Thanks for playing along, everyone. There were so many good ones, so go take a look at HQ Sports on Twitter. We get things started there before every game is a little warm-up to get the brain going. So I hope to see you again on Monday. Now, team, let's get our game going right now. This is is HQ Sports, where I ask 12 rounds of sports-only trivia. In order to win, you just need to get them all right. Do that, and you'll be splitting a pot of $1,000 tonight. Yes, it's a nice little chunk of change to get your year started right. And hey, you can play with friends to help you win. If you are in the close proximity to two other players with the HQ app open, you'll all receive erasers. Erasers eliminate one answer choice to give you a better chance at getting that round right. Yes, but if you're by yourself right now, don't panic. You can invite friends to play from your phone wherever they are. Just swipe and tap the address book on your screen. That's going to bring up all of your HQ friends so you can see who's in or who's being benched. Tap that player and select a push notification to let them know, hey, we're about to get started. Also, extra lives can come in clutch if you called an audible and ended up losing yards. Oish. Pick one up right now before we start, or you can earn them for free by inviting new friends to play HQ for the first time. You can only use one extra life per game, same deal with erasers, and never on the last round. Okay, team, Whew, we got our pre-workout in, and now it's game time. Let's see what you got. To the over 130,000 players ready to fight it out for the fame, the glory, and oh yeah, that cash. Let's do it. Round one starts right now. If a pitcher enters the game leading by three runs or less and finishes the win, he is awarded a what? Turkey, save, free throw. Oh yeah, pitchers and catchers report mid-February, but who's counting the days? Not me. It's the stat invented by a sports writer in the 60s and has led to millions of dollars for one in and guys, and arguably a lot of bullpen mismanagement. It's the save, not a turkey, they get a save. The save is the answer here at round number one. 92,655 of you are saving round one and moving on to round number two. Here it is. In the US, which sport allows a team to score the greatest number of points on a single play? Volleyball, football, basketball. Should be keeping things nice and easy for you here, team. It's round two. Volleyball is a one point at a time kind of sport, while basketball maxes out at a four point play, even though that's incredibly rare and it actually takes two shots for the one play. Anyway, football gives you six for a touchdown. Of course it does. Football is your answer here at round number two. 83,058 of you knew that one. We're just getting started, team. It's round three. Here it is. What team won this year's NHL Winter Classic? Boston Bruins, Chicago Blackhawks, New York Rangers. 
It was a New Year's Day staple. Still is. The NHL kicks it old school with an outdoor game every New Year's Day. And this year, the Bruins came from behind to beat the Blackhawks 4-2. Pasternak tied it up and Corrali brought in the winning goal. Boston Bruins is your answer here. 52,063 of you getting that one right. Wow, knocking out 30. Thousand of you at round number three. We got a ways to go. That was just the first quarter team. Here we go, round number four. In an exhibition this week, Floyd Mayweather defeated a fighter who practiced what technique? Sumo, kickboxing, jujitsu. So, yeah, I guess uh, Floyd Mayweather will come out of retirement for these sort of fake fights against people who aren't boxers. Alrighty then. Well, take a look and see for yourself. Body shot by Lester Cowell and now Mayweather just comes in and throws his own body oh. shot. Beautiful right hand dropping right his center. opponent. Oh. My goodness, the speed. Yep, he defeated Japanese kickboxer Tenshin Nasakua, though you'll see more punches land in WWE. Kickboxing is the answer here. 34,274 of you getting that one right and moving on to round number five. Which division winner is not traditionally part of the Rose Bowl? Big Ten, Pac-12, SEC. And this might have helped you if you caught the Rose Bowl yesterday. It's called the granddaddy of them all. Ohio State defeated Washington this year, and that Big Ten Pac-12 matchup is the norm for the Rose Bowl. The only time it's different is if the Rose Bowl is one of the playoff games. SEC, not traditionally part of the Rose Bowl. That is your answer here at round number five. 28,580 of you must have watched it yesterday and are moving on to our halfway point. It's round number six. Here it is. What woman ended 2018 atop the WTA official rankings? Simona Halep, Caroline Wozniacki, Naomi Osaka. And who caught that Serena Williams-Roger Federer match yesterday at the Hopman Cup? I'm not going to tell you what happened. you got to see for yourself. Osaka won the last Grand Slam of the year, defeating Serena in the Women's U.S. Open. But the current number one is Simona Halep, more than a thousand points ahead of number two, who was Angelique Kerber. Simona Halep is your answer here at our halfway point round number six. 16,134 of you getting that one right. Knocking out over 12,000 here. We got six more rounds to go. Can you hang on? It's round number seven. What first name appears three times on the list of the top 10 most accurate NBA career three-point shooters of all time? Dave, Steve, or Reggie? Oh, this is a fun one. Good to know in case you're, you know, having a kid and you want to name them something that might statistically help them sink some threes. Okay, seriously though, without even counting Steph, you've got Kerr, Novak, and Nash all in the top 10. Steve, it's a good solid name. I like it. Steve is your answer here at round number seven. 7,661 of you getting that one right. And they're only getting tougher from here on out, team. It's round eight. Which of these NFL teams did not fire its head coach after the end of this regular season? Lions, Jets, Bengals. Firings all over the place. Luckily, it missed me here. I'm not going anywhere, team. Matt Patricia had a pretty bad first year in Detroit, going 6-10 and, and finishing last in the NFC North. But he will get a chance to improve on that next season, unlike Todd Bowles of the Jets and Marvin Lewis of the Bengals. Lions is the answer here at round number eight. Oh, yes, it is. Detroit Lions, 7,915 of you knowing that one. Ooh, we're starting to get into the heavy, heavy rounds. Here it is, round number nine. Which non-wide receiver had the greatest number of receptions in the NFL this year? Christian McCaffrey, Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz. If you had any of these three, I bet you had a winning fantasy season. Speaking of, shout out to James, who won the Nitty Gridiron. That was our HQ League. Congrats. Wideout Michael Thomas of the Saints led the NFL with 125 catches. But number 
number two was Zach Ertz of the Eagles, who's 116 catches for an all-time record for tight ends, even beating out my own personal fave, Mr. Jason Witten. Zach Ertz is the answer here at round number nine. 4,730 of you getting that one right, knocking out another 3,000 here. Come on, we gotta finish strong. It's round number 10. What franchise has the record for most wins in a single NHL season? Penguins, Red Wings, Canadians. Come on team, don't lose the lead in the last quarter. The Habs still hold the record for most team points in a season with 132 in 1976 and 77. But the Red Wings of 1995 and 96 ended up with two more wins, totaling 62. Red Wings is your answer here. 2,297 of you making that goal when it mattered most. We got two rounds left. Here it is, round 11. Which of these NFL teams finished this season with the best record? Chargers, Texans, Patriots. Yep, we see all three of these teams going into the postseason. We're gonna watch two of them this weekend. The Patriots are the one team of these three that got a bye to the second round. But their 11 and five record was one game worse than the five seed. The Chargers, who had the bad luck of losing a tiebreaker to the Chiefs for the division title. Their record was 12 and four. Chargers is the answer here. 2,334 of you getting that one right. If you have an extra life, I see you using it because we are going into the final round. Oh yes, team, everything that you trained for, everything that you studied and worked so hard for, your coaches, your peers, they're counting on you. You thought you could go number one overall? Now's your chance. Show us if you can. Round 12. What is the only college to have two players chosen number one in the NBA draft in consecutive years? San Francisco, Kansas, Duquesne. All comes down to this team. Does it surprise you that none of the current powerhouse schools made this list? Well, in 1955 and 56, Dick Ricketts and Sahugo Green went from the Dukes to the number one in the NBA draft. No college dominated the top of the draft charts like, well, Duquesne. Yes, unexpected, but true. Duquesne is the answer here. 259 of you knew that, and you just became our new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations. <laughs> Hundred and fifty-nine winners. You know what that means? We're all splitting a prize of about three dollars and eighty-six cents. Shamrock. Oh my goodness! Look at that face. What a cute pup. I see you there. Cheesy program with the with the crown. You're crowning yourself already. I guess you knew you were gonna win this one. Tony, Tony, Tone, 386 is coming to you, and if that's your daily view, then I envy you, my man. Jay Vacanti, 24, hello, fellow Yankee fan. Finally, we got a Yankee fan in my winner selection that I could see. Congratulations, congrats to all of our new HQ Sports MVPs. You're taking home a prize of about $3.86. Hey, that's a cup of coffee in the morning, all right? What a game, team. Amazing work. And congrats again to our newest HQ Sports MVPs. You're starting the new year off right with a check in the win column. Come back and try your sports knowledge again on Monday because we do this every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Follow us on social for the latest at HQ Sports and me at Lauren underscore Gambino. Now, I'm off to go interview with the New York Jets. If I can coach this team anything like I can play Madden, then we can safely drop our punter and save a little cash. Until next time, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.